Rich Voss in studio, and uh, we were going to have him sit in the green room for like an hour and let the let the big boys do the heavy lifting. But you walked in with a uh, <laughs> with a uh, girl's purse or something. God, Rich you, walked God, in. I, th- I think he did that just to get airtime. I really do. It, it can't possibly be real. Rich and walked you're walking in. around with that bag. And he walked in. Let me set up the scene. He walks in here. During the commercial break, and starts talking about how he's in a hotel last night and stuff like that, and you know, yeah, you couldn't sleep, yeah, you know, for whatever reason. Uh, so I, I'm looking, and I notice on the other side of him, it's not even like a bag that if if I'm looking at one side of him and it's on his other shoulder that his body will cover it. It's a giant grandma pocketbook you are walking around with, and I saw it jetting out from like the front and the back. It's that big. First of all, it's not for airtime. I, can, you know, first of all, for, for, airtime, it's not for airtime. Well, Rich, you said I brought s- it in to get. He's to, kidding. Like, uh, oh, okay, dude, <laughs> you're, that's a. You know what? That's a coach bag, and you know why I know it's, it's a coach a, bag? It's not coach. This is Louis Vuitton. And oh, Louis, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry you didn't. We didn't get this at the Gap. But let me. <laughs> I don't so shop in the Gap. Oh, whatever, Coles. I don't know. This thing, it carries a computer. It carries. My Dude, bag. it's a girl's bag. It's not a girl. It is a. It is, Holy it crap! It is a girl's bag. Rich, it is. You, you want? It's a girl. You want to take a survey? We, we got the Pal Talk cameras. We got people all no, over the world know. looking this at is... us through the show. Show the Pal Talk cameras your bag. You all should. Right. There's not one person. I swear to God, Rich. It's so easy to beat you up and stuff. Yeah. And this we ride not, you pretty hard sometimes. Uh, There's not one person in our audience that's not going to say that's that's uh, not a girl's bag. There are computer bags that you can have that you can hold a laptop in, accessories, yeah. things, I and not those. one person would say, oh, my God, that is a woman's pocketbook you are holding. Yeah. It, it would look like a computer bag. Yeah, yeah if it was, if it was uh, black... Then maybe you could get away with it, but the cute little side saddle bags on the and side, the LV make it logo, too. the Louis Vuitton pattern on there, and everything. Yeah, this is the style, man. Style for what? Yeah, in the are village you? in San Francisco, you yeah. should be carrying tampons in that box. <laughs> he <laughs> is. Are you uh, coming out of the closet today? <laughs> no. What's I know. Yeah, look, that's like a bag. That's a man's bag yeah, that could fit a laptop. You can get like this anywhere for ten dollars, twenty dollars. This is a eight, almost a two thousand dollar bag. No, two thousand dollars to look no. like. A no, homosexual. It was $1,800 bag. No, uh, hold on. Because we know Rich, too. What? You knock bought off. that. Yeah, it's a knockoff, no, and you bought one, it from a Nigerian no, on the on the, no, on the the sidewalk. You're, you're 100% wrong on this. You went into a store and first bought that, all, and they didn't Bobby laugh at you. bought this for me. For, don't, didn't you get my message when I went back into Louis Vuitton, and they didn't want to wait on me? Mm. I left you a message. They didn't want to wait on me. <laughs> Why didn't they want to wait on you? Because they're used to waiting on women. Because I brought I brought all the homeless people into Louis Vuitton, and the Chinese guy goes, I remember you. Okay, I did get that message. Yes. So this is... An eighteen hundred. It's a real Louis Vuitton bag. This is the kind of stuff you walk through an airport with your computer, and people go, "Oh, oh, oh look oh. at this guy. He must look be going to San Francisco. Guy. He must be going to San Francisco." You know, right? it's so funny because you guys are sitting here. Dude, no, no offense, but you you can't fight back on this one. Rich, that is that is so girly. Dude, the price funny. doesn't justify what it is or looks like. If it's eighteen hundred bucks, it, you you know. You could buy other women's clothing for eighteen hundred bucks. Rich, we've done a lot of traveling, a and the Vera last year, Wang dress uh-huh. will cost yeah. a lot of money. Yet you will not look manly in it. <laughs> we've done a lot of traveling in the last year. Not uh-huh. once did I see a guy carrying a bag like that. No, I don't know. I think it's fine. even too faggy for gay guys. You should be swinging that at a larger man, calling him a masher. <laughs> <laughs> masher. <laughs> oh. Here's the thing. I think you guys. Did Bonnie really buy that for you? Yeah. Wow, she she bought it for herself, you know. No, that was to emasculate you a little bit. No, I yeah, think I think it's a nice way. I love it. No, I think it's one of those things where you buy something for someone, knowing they're not really going to like it in the end, and then oh, you and get then the she'll present. get it. Yeah, she's 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 got her eye on that. Leave bag. it to Voss; he's holding on to it. And she's at the hotel room, going, "Man, it's been a month. I can't believe he's still carrying that bag around. It should be mine by now." How embarrassing. You, you take, <laughs> if you put this on Pal Talk, you ask, you could take. Dude, a no offense. I, oh, I, was, I already have. Hold on. I can't read the word fag and queer fast <laughs> enough. How much you want to bet? I have no problem betting you a lot of money. There's no way you get. I, and I'm not. I'm. Not, we could. We could do an independent poll. I don't care because yeah, the pal talkers they love beating you up. Yeah, and this, hey, you're you gonna can, lose, man. You can't go. Out, you can't. Here's what you got to. Here's what we'll do. You can't go by guys that live at home or that are 16 or 17. You got to go by people That's not that our know that. Rich. Well, I know, but 
Okay, of course your audience is going to go gay. They're going to go gay. But when you go, if you go into any store or any fashion person, or you know what I'm saying, they'll go, yeah, that's a stylish type bag to carry. You know. How about this? Exactly, stylish type bag. How about this? What? You go to Starbucks right now. They're, they're lining up for their dumb coffee. We'll go down there with a cell phone, and we'll independently ask people online. At Starbucks? Yeah. I'll do that in a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should be grabbing a towelette out of that bag and wiping a gentleman's belly. <laughs> 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 uh, who wrote the bag? Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to... Poloni drapes. <laughs> I'm not even going to destroy it, man. I want to see you walking around with that. that dude, that is girly. You like this for real? I Holy crap. I, I, no. It, it, like everything about it, I don't like. Even the let me let me feel like what it's made out of. It's leather, right? No, I don't know what it's it is. It's some kind of boss. Even if that bag was completely it black, it still would look kind of girly. Plastic? Because it's got the side vinyl. saddle like bags. I, I can't really explain it, but little little bags on the side. Someone says it looks like women's luggage. When more people get to Starbucks, I'll walk down there and I'll and I'll do a survey with anybody. And I, I guarantee. Are you going to be shocked when everyone goes, "No, that's a girl's bag"? If 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 more people say it's a girl's bag, then I'll go return and get something else there at the store. That's what I'll do. Guys don't think. shop in that store to begin with. I know. I don't think they I've have a never, guy's bag in there. Never heard of a guy's going in there to shop. I, I really don't think. Unless up. there's a wallet, maybe. Yeah, okay. Let me see the a wallet. Wa even even the wallet looks oh. a little <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Rich. <laughs> the whole see, store is the woman's see, section. What do you put in there, your hormone pills? <laughs> I don't have drugs. I don't have I don't have. I have nothing but every now and then to spend a little money on something. I understand like. that, but... I, well, I, I got four sets of... Hey, man, if you like it, that's all that matters. Looks like a diaper bag, okay. people are saying. Uh, yeah, it does. It looks like a little like a diaper bag. That's the type of bag like a rich girl from like the Upper West Side would nah. carry around. It's an old Jewish lady's find. bag. It, yeah. Oh. No. It is. I'm gonna go find out. That's what he I'm walked in here with his bag. He wanted to show it off. I rich wanted to show off his latest purchase. <laughs> <laughs> over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, it was over his shoulder. He's can't, walking in. Can a guy get by with it? Rich, I know I'm tough on you some mornings. <laughs> yeah. I, I I will openly admit that. Yeah. But this one is so easy. It's it's not even. But funny. I didn't bring it. It's in going, so easy. Hey, there's going to be trouble over. I got my sunglasses. My. Uh, uh, Why do you have to carry a, a computer around with you all the time? I don't have a computer now. Oh, I had clothes. No, no, no. no. You know what it really is. Where, where are you staying, by the way? I don't well, know in New York. Really close, right? Yeah, not. Too like, far. there's no reason for him to have that. Bag with him right now. Why do I he do brought it in to show it off. No, yeah. no, how'd you? Know? And now yeah. he's really bummed out that we didn't, uh, that we weren't all. Ooh, wow! Well, look I, at I that. I thought maybe you would have said, "Hey, that's a nice bag." No. They even did the runway oh. turn like they do on the, like their models. Yeah, <laughs> when they're modeling those bags. Jesus! Someone's asking if it came with a fanny pack. <laughs> Did you have to trade one bag for another? <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, can't can I get by with anything? You can. B I. But that's a stupid bag. <laughs> You're going down to Starbucks. Seven o'clock. Yeah, I'll go down to Starbucks. You think there'll be people there at seven? Oh yeah. Yeah, and it, this one's going to be really easy. How are we going to do it? Because I don't want to like you know bias any of the people. Yeah. Mm. It, it, it won't matter. You can just go up and go. Uh, Do we send Steve down? I think we send two people. Voss doesn't say anything because he would word it in a way where people might say, yeah, it's a good bag. And then just ask, do you think this is uh, this bag is appropriate for a gentleman? So you said a male or female bag, so it doesn't. you can't go, is this a gay bag? No, you don't even have to give him a choice. Like, is this an appropriate bag for a man? And then you could say something like... Would you rather have this bag or a Mickey Mouse flying out of your sweatshirt? Oh, I got a Disney uh, sweatshirt. <laughs> is, is that what you'd rather have? It's a uh, seven-year-old. Oh, Rich is fighting to do? back. Get two boys in your house in Missouri or something? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least I couldn't fit them in that bag. <laughs> well, you no, I could. flying all over the place. <laughs> this, uh... This kept me warm on the chilly uh, Florida evenings. Oh, really? Well, I was strolling you through Epcot. Patrice, that would keep you warm, too. And what? now it's cold today, so I wore a Disney sweatshirt. Is there right. a problem? I yeah, I think as far as <laughs> gay goes... I could I could have sex with Mickey Mouse, and it's not as gay as carrying around that bag. You, that is just a woman's 
Well, pocketbook. Okay. That is mommy's I, pocketbook. I bet it smells like mommy. baby powder and peppermints and like grandma's pocketbook. Now you're getting really upset about the Mickey Mouse thing. Relax. Hmm. Here's the thing. Okay, if I'm right, if more people say it's good Rich, for a nail, you're delusional. What do I get out of it? I don't, I don't want anything, but you're delusional. maybe an apology or you were right. An apology? No, you're well, that's not going to happen here. You're, you are delusional. <laughs> that that you're no, delusional. people will look at that and and think you're it's really going to be in shock when when people say that it's a, a girl's bag. No, I'm not. You I'm really not. are. You really believe that's a guy's bag. Yeah. Let's uh, let's say hi to uh, Ben in New York. What's up, Ben? Hey, <laughs> fun makes a lot of bags. The ones with LVs, no question, are for women. They make men's bags, but the LVs are for women. The LV ones, the ones with the logo, are for women. You guys know what we're talking about? It's like brown with the LV logo Everyone all knows over it. Everyone knows what Louis Vuitton okay. bag looks right, like at right. this day, day and age. First of all, half uh, your listeners can't spell LV. First of all, have you ever been to this uh, airport and seen some of the luggage? Men carry the LV luggage. Is that girls' luggage? I, no. I've never, I've never seen, seen a guy carry a... Uh, uh, LV luggage. We have been traveling like maniacs, and I've never seen the uh, baggage carousel and an LV bag come down and a guy go, this is mine. This is mine. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> All right. I, I, maybe I'm wrong. I doubt it. I You're a first. Wrong. I wish I could say, you know, Rich, uh, d there was a guy I saw. There was only one other guy I saw with a, a Louis Vuitton bag. He doesn't exist. I've never, ever seen another man carrying one of those bags. I did. Andrew Kunanen, when he shot Versace. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. only other guy that had a bag like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, we did that one. Uh, you look like you're perpetu you perpetually have your girlfriend or wife in a dressing room at uh, a store in a mall. You're just holding her bag. <laughs> it's like it's the only time a guy should be holding that is when his girl is in the dressing room and you have to stand there like the pee whipped ass you are and all just awkward. All yeah, I'll, I'll hold it out with t uh, between your thumb and forefinger. It's not mine, but but you're you're proud of that and whatever. Uh, Eighteen hundred bucks. I don't know. I just spent my money a little differently. Well, I, it was a Christmas. Well, actually, yeah, was, she spent thirteen hundred on a Christmas present. She got me a a different Louis Vuitton. Uh, oh my uh, God! Uh, what do you call a computer bag? A different computer bag? Yeah. But my computer didn't fit it, so I returned that, and I got this, and I had to throw in five hundred <laughs> of my money. I took thirteen hundred. <laughs> so, and now he's taking full credit for the eighteen hundred. With your loss, tell her to give me five hundred. Rich back. is lost. Yeah, why did, You're a lost soul. Why don't you just tell her, like, ah, this kind of stinks. I'd rather get something else. Are you I, keeping I, it because it was Bonnie's gift and, and oh, you know, no. the exchange thing? And this, it's like, yeah, it's not quite what I want, but but it's, it's great and everything. No, because I don't exchange stuff. I just give them to Norton for birthday presents. But here's the thing. <laughs> I like Louis Vuitton stuff. I mean, not a lot of it because it's too flashy and stuff. Too flash. That thing is the ultimate in flash. Like, Louis, you're showing off the fact that it's a Louis Vuitton and it's a woman's bag, which makes it even more obvious. Listen, I, listen, I don't know. I, I walk through airports. People still recognize me. Some do. And I go, oh, that's that guy from TV or from ONA oh, over Tough Crowd. That's I look, that guy from well. TV. It looks like he came out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 I, that's I that better guy. call Star Magazine. I got a scoop. What they say is it, there's that guy. He has the same accessories as a TV. <laughs> 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 All right, Rich, you're going to Starbucks. And right. Could you look that up? What? The, is there a Louis Vuitton site? Look that friggin' bag up and see if it says woman's bag or if there's any female attachment. Women's apparel. Women, yeah, what I section it's, it's in. I bet you it's under the women's apparel it's section. It's got to be. Is it a relatively new bag? By the way, for the, the rest of the country, show. so you you two could laugh. We're going to get that picture up on opianathy.com oh, very, yeah. very soon. Uh, we got Rich modeling his new bag that he's proud of. Modeling on the catwalk. On the catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> like Project... Uh... All right, listen. Project Gay? <laughs> All right, listen. He's getting the website. We're getting the picture up on openanthony.com. Uh, Rich is going down to Starbucks. <laughs> Does get... the inside. Huh? Uh, Voss, uh, Voss's uh... photos are up, so let the people check them out for a couple minutes. Here we go. Uh, we're sending you down to Starbucks. We're going to yeah. talk to Rich Voss from a Starbucks. After the break, uh, we're going to get some comments about your fag bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> it's nice. Little gold zippers on the little... Co- what do you put in the little end compartments? Because there's so much room in the middle. Why would you need the little end compartments? You know what that's for? Makeup. Makeup goes there. And then on the other side, you know how girls like to compartmentalize yeah. their, their goodies and things? That's why there's so many little nooks and crannies in their purses and zip-up compartments That and compartment stuff. is for your little cute cell phone, maybe like a like a, a like a cherry red type cell phone. Right. And maybe some lip gloss. And then you got to have, like like Jimmy brought up before, tampons have to be put in there somewhere. You know, hey, listen to me. Even, let's even Condoms see. if you're a whore. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a whore, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> High class prostitute bag plug yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. His blonde wig. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> All right. We really got to take a break. Yeah. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah. But what do you got there, Stan? Anything good? Yeah, Tim just gave us some Carter and Fester what their involvement was. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. oh, oh. They turned on the spigot. <laughs> oh. You have an update on Voss's... All right, we got so much going on. We got an update. All right, why don't you do that fast? Iraq, you right. have an update on Voss's bag. We went to the website. His bag is not on the website, but the pattern and style is listed under women's city bags and briefcases. All right, no, women's no, 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 city no, no, bags and briefcases. Women's. Jesus. Where is it? Screw it. I think he's wrong. How could he be wrong? They all look like your bag without yeah, the side saddle Wait, things. Side, yeah, it's very Scroll close down. to your bag. The side saddle things make him even more womanly. Yes. that's It's a chick's hey, bag. Listen, it's a chick's I bag, Rich. Know. We're going to find out at Starbucks. All right? let, me, let me see it, Rich. Can you bring it over here, please? Thank you. And uh, and what do you got on Carter and Fester, Ann? Because we got to take a break. We're late here. Uh, it just says, um, personalities Carter and Fester came in and out of the room pumping up the participants. Uh, and they would, what they would do is, uh, we did it like uh, they were drinking shots. Instead of saying cheers, we would say we, and then shoot down the water. Ew. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh Fester, my God. They, don't even, they don't even know how to kill a listener, right? Fester, <laughs> I know. They're even hacky when it comes hacky. to murder. Fester went outside and sprayed the window with water and turned on a faucet to tempt contestants to use the bathroom. So why is he fired for that? That was helping the contestants along. Dude. Any involvement in this. If you were in the building, you got thrown out, apparently. Poor Carter and Fester. They weren't doing anything. We got to start a website. Save Carter and Fester. Save Carter and Fester, whoever they are. They're uh, collateral damage is what it comes down Any to. Any pics of them? Yeah, here you go. He's got one of those big uh, goatees that... Uh, oh, okay. ...without the mustache. The radio. He looks like a radio guy. All right. I he looks like Rocco, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, that's Fester. All right, listen, listen. Poor Fester. We could easily keep going, but uh, we're going to get in, in serious uh, trouble, and we're going to be really late. So when we get back, we'll be talking to Rich Voss from Starbucks. All right, let's say hi to Steve. <laughs> He's with Rich Voss. He's at uh, Starbucks downstairs. What's up, hi, Steve? Boy. Hey. hey, guys. We're in the middle of Starbucks. Okay. Uh, Rich has convinced me to purchase the same <laughs> bag. <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of people down here with various uh, styles of, of, of purses and bags and briefcases. So I'm hoping we'll get uh, a nice hmm. uh, an, a smattering of different views. Is Rich getting recognized? Uh, yeah. Uh, a cop uh, just walked in and said, uh, yeah, you're the guy with the Mobag. Oh, really? <laughs> the yeah. mo bag. It's good to know they're listening out there. All right, so how are we going to do this, Steve? You got a game right. plan? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We're live on the radio, and we're just asking uh, a couple questions about um, this bag that this gentleman is holding. Would you mind uh, Would you mind talking to us for, for a few minutes? Okay. okay. Uh, if there was somebody in your family that you were going to buy that Louis Vuitton bag for, who would it be? That would probably be for my mother or sister-in-law of the female persuasion. A mother or sister-in-law of the female persuasion. Steve, you did not coach her, right? No, not at all. Okay, at all. let's move on. This is so Very obvious. Nice. Make sure um, Rich is don't just even need to do holding this, the bag. Right. Don't have him modeling it or wearing it. Not modeling it. All right. He's not modeling it at all. All okay. right, move on, He's Steve. It. So far, right. one... She said mother and sister-in-law, then stress yeah. female. One says mother and sister-in-law and or. We're live on the radio. Would you mind uh, answering a few questions about... Yeah, it's it's, 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 all right. Okay, one guy not interested. Oh. Uh, let's ask Tell that douchebag. Douche Just lighten up and do it, you stupid goddamn... 
What is wrong with people? Everyone I'm so busy. Everyone thinks they're so important. Just do it. Throw burning coffee in his face. <laughs> right. Good scalding right. cup on his neck. Okay. <laughs> do a little right. oopsie as you're, you know, getting the milk and the Ugh. sugar. All right, I th you there? Yes, yes Steve. Okay. Uh, I'm here with a gentleman now. Uh, sir, if you were going to buy this Louis Vuitton bag for somebody in your family, who would you buy it for? Uh, for my wife. For your wife. All right, yeah, see? I know my wife would love that bag. I mean, it wouldn't be for me, but it would definitely be for my wife. She would love that bag. Yeah, okay. There you have it. The wife oh, would love it. Thank you. All right, Wait, man. Rich don't now arguing. Hold on. Don't let Rich argue with anybody. Shut up. Yeah, because we don't want people to, to realize that it's his bag. Right. Uh, right. Exactly. Okay. All right. Keep All right. going. Okay. We'll do okay. two more. Yeah. Oh. Which one do you do? Forgot them. Oh. Sorry. Uh, okay. And we're being ejected. I who? Starbucks. Are For you what? kidding? For what? For what? Who's rejecting you? E A manager. E e you For know. what? <laughs> what are they saying? Uh, because we're we're being a nuisance, apparently. A wow, because no important things are getting right. done at Starbucks. Unbelievable. Oh, God, exactly. this country stinks on ice. No one wants to have fun anymore. No, they certainly what don't. What kind of nuisance could we be? You're online for a lousy cup of coffee. That's Everyone, overpriced. Maybe they recognize Voss as having done stand-up. one question about this <laughs> <in there. laughs> All right. Guys, guys. All right. I got a, a, an, another uh, another woman. Okay. okay. We're, we're, we're live on the radio. We're asking you, if you were going to buy this Louis Vuitton bag for somebody in your family, who would it be for? Your sister? Your sister. Yeah. sister. That's it? Very yeah. good. Very Thank good. Thank you very much. See? Uh, not Thank one you. man. <laughs> That's it. Everybody would buy this this Louis Vuitton bag for a woman in their in their family. It's so obvious. This one is so obvious. Uh, you, ask, want, you want to talk to Rich? Yeah. He, he's now arguing his point. Hold on a second. All right, Rich. Here is. Of course, they're all going to say women when he asked all women. They, they asked the guy. They asked the guy. Oh. He said he would buy it for his wife. His wife. You don't. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, okay. So they asked one guy and two guys. Ask this, miss, miss, do you like this? Oh, you creep. Uh, this isn't working out for me right now. No, yeah, work them on the street, Rich. Ask some people. I, I will ask people. If there's, here, comes, here comes a lady right here. All right, let's go. Excuse me, miss. See this bag right here? Would you buy this for a male or a female? You're sure. Okay, it's an answer. It's a yes or no, a male or a female bag. She only, she's looking at it. Okay, this lady. This lady has a mink. She has class. Who would you buy this bag for, ma'am? A male or a female? This Louis Vuitton. Female. A female? Female. But a male couldn't have it? Like you said, like a first... Don't, listen don't, how... Uh, hit her with it. Yeah. No. Strike you for, that's a nice mink. That's a nice mink. All right, that's another female. You, you want to buy one of those too, Rich? <laughs> you want to just ask you a little bit more jaded. Who would you buy this well, for, a female guy, or a, uh, a male? A male. Or a male, wink, wink, help me out. You know he's making his dumb bug eyes at her too, like, yeah. opening, like or a male. Yeah, come on. Or a male, right? Listen, I, this is how, this is what a man I am. When I'm wrong, I can admit I'm wrong. You're, I you're, might be wrong. wrong in this situation. <laughs> the problem might be. The problem is you can't admit that you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear them. I think they're having humor on my behalf again. Humor on my behalf. Not expensive. Wait, hold on. Hey, hey, you guys. Would you guys? These are tough guys. Would you guys carry this Louis Vuitton bag to carry it? Would you guys carry this? No. No. Sounds like he's asking own. them to carry it for him. <laughs> would you, excuse me, would you guys carry this yes. for me? Through the airport security? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask a question. <laughs> There's a Spanish guy that looked at me in such disgust. Yeah, like, of course. I, I wouldn't carry that. This is not even close, board. Rich. What's that? This one's not even close. All right, I, hold on. Well, we're coming upstairs here. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's... Uh, no, All right, there you go. He's coming back upstairs. Not one person no. No. said they would buy that for a guy in their family or, or friends or, or anything. It's all all women. All right, and the photos are up on opianthony.com. We're going to catch up a little bit. We'll continue. we got some idle talk. we got got uh, My Baby is Black. we got to save Brad Pitt. we got to wish Muhammad Ali a very happy 65th birthday today. And Jason Isler had a problem in jail. And Jason Itzler, who called the show today, uh, yesterday. We, we couldn't get to him. We'll get into that story as well. It's the Opie and Anthony Show.